Hey everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, today I've been playing in my fountain pens. Well, not in them, I've been playing with them. And um, I have beef tips and noodles crocking in the crock pot. And I have to keep myself busy while I wait for the food to be ready because I'm starving Marvin. So I thought I would crack open another um, Fresca. And I have a little bit of lemonade in there. And I'm going to mix it up and make me a little fake cocktail. So um, hopefully everybody's staying home and staying safe. I know I sound like a broken record, but I think it's really, really important. Oh, this is going to taste so good. And it's going to take the edge off while I wait for the food. Because, you know, you can't rush meat, right? <laughs> My mom's all like, you don't need meat. And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm a meat eater. All right, let me take a sip. Mmm. This is what I do kind of mid-afternoon when I need a distraction so that I don't um, chew my hand off from being bored or whatever the case may be. All right, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 inks, 11 pens, and I filled all of them and I thought we could swatch them together. So I'm going to just kind of rotate it because that's how I do. And I use Q-tips obviously to swatch. And we're just going to start with the first one. So this, so what I do is, um, I've started to do this, is keep my pens in a pen roll and just pick the color that just makes me happy that day. And um, I am very much enjoying all of my pens and all of my ink colors. And um, I'll show you the pen roll at the end, which I got on Amazon for $15.99, you guys. Dude, it was the deal of the century for me. And I'm really excited to um, show you guys, but I also just posted, I think if I time everything right, it'll have been yesterday that I posted a video showing me kind of giving it some love because it arrived to me a little bone dry. Um, okay, so what I do, I've got two, two habits regarding my fountain pens and they're this. I do try to match the pen, I'm, I'm one of those weirdos. I try to match the pen to the ink, all right? I'm gonna get some better light, hang on. All right, I hope that's better. Um, so I do try to match the ink color to the pen. And then the other thing that I do is I always try, try my best to buy waterproof inks. Now, I do a lot of my ink shopping at Jet Pens, and if you'll click on the certain ink, and then you'll click on the um, item details, it will, if you scroll all the way down, it will give you the information that you need. They also have color charts too that you can print out or that you can look at to see how the certain ink reacts to water. Now the reason I do that is because I used to, and now I'm ramping into doing it again, is I used to go back and back decorate my journal pages or if I just didn't wanna put anything on there, sticker related or whatever, and I just wanted to give it kind of a tea bag antique wash, then the ink does not smear because it's waterproof. So that's the reason that I choose the certain inks that I choose. All right, so I am going to first start with my Twisby Diamond 580. Now, I like this because the 580 AL has little ridges here on the, um, right here on the colored part, and I had one of those, and it, I didn't like it. I didn't like how it sat on my writing finger there, and <clears throat> it was really uncomfortable for me, and so... This actually is my favorite um, Twisby. I like the weight of it. I like the diamond cut of it. And it feels just like the Ecos. So I am going to swatch this. This is Sketch Ink um, from the maker Rower and Klinger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And also, I'm going to mispronounce a lot of stuff on this video. Just have grace. Give me grace. And so we'll just dip this. And we'll just swab that like that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous green, kind of a, I don't know, kind of a teal green, not a grass green. And here is how this ink writes from the Twisby Diamond 580, the fine nib, okay? 
And then I'm gonna try to be a fountain pen person, which I am not. I'll tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. People who are fountain pen people, I really wish they would put out more videos on how to fill stuff, because I have like an antique one that I just love. I love the beauty of it. Have no clue how to take care of it. It just sits there. But I'm okay with that because I have really bonded with the Twisby Ecos. They're super, super easy to use, very easy to fill. But I feel like the world of fountain pens is super hard to break into. And it's really, really hard to get an all-encompassing channel or whatever that will give you all the nitty-gritty stuff you need. Now, Ghoulie Pens does an amazing job with helping us novice and also I click on gorgeous pictures of fountain pens and whew, they're in the hundreds of dollars and I'm like, nope, not happening. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just trapped between wanting to be the fountain pen person but knowing that I choose not to spend my money like that. So I'm gonna throw that Q-tip away. All right, so this is a document ink, a blue documental ink from uh, Monteverde. And I'm gonna write here with this Twisby Echo in the fine knit, okay? Well, I just started those S's and I'm not, I've only seen that on, um, YouTube videos, and I'm sure it's because they're just showing how it writes, but I always like write the word hello. So, and you can see that I'm putting a lot on these swatches, but that's okay. So that is the fine nib. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, fun, um, just a true blue. Okay, now this is 54th Massachusetts from Noodler's Inc. Noodler's ink is my favorite ink, and um, I had this pen, the new mint one, and I just love this blue. It's just this really kind of like beautiful blue jean blue, and I'm, I'm just trying to not get as much on there. You see what I mean? Let me move this up. It's this beautiful denim blue that I just love writing with and so I didn't want to buy like another blue pen and I thought you know I'm gonna try to use what I have okay there's the S's so that's a medium nib and you can see that it writes a little bit more wide remember I'm a novice so happy to take constructive criticism if I'm not being exactly perfect regarding fountain pens but at the same time I just dabble you guys all right so um that is a gorgeous blue jean blue love that all right and then we've got noodlers black and just to be thorough I keep the black ink in the black twisby echo and we'll just I'm just trying to grab I use this a lot so but there's the black, kind of looks kind of gray. Um, but when you write with it, it writes true black. If I sound distracted, it's because Cooper is out in the front yard um, acting like a moron. Okay, so and all the titles are written in the um, Noodler's Black and um, it's really my go-to ink. And that's with the fine nib here. All right, now the next one is a relative, well it is, it's a really new um, ink to me, Noodler's Ink Lexington Gray, and I put it in a clear Twisby Echo. I marked it with washi tape because this is a stub nib, a 1.1 millimeter, okay? Oh, I get, I get the pen already and then I forget to do the ink. <laughs> I've just been having the best time. Oh my goodness. All right. And see, now personally, when I swab it out like that, I think it looks just like the black. And I'm not quite sure we're gonna get the true, true. And I'm still practicing with the stub nib. And I'm very heavy handed. So I'm not 
I'm not sure. I'm not unhappy that I bought it, but I think you have to hold it more up and down. So let's try. Yeah. Again, I'm going to practice with it, but um, it's a beautiful pen and I do love it and I want to use that for titles. All right, the next ink. Oh, when I ordered the last time from Jet Pens, I saw this red black ink and I thought, oh, it has to be mine. I cannot leave it there at their warehouse. I must have it. And it is gorgeous. I love it. And remember, I like to use different inks just whenever I'm in a different mood. And isn't that gorgeous? I'm hoping, desperately hoping, you guys, that you can see what I'm seeing. So let me bring it up. Let me bring it. Can you see that? It's just beautiful. I just love it. It's kind of like this burgundy dark. And so for lack of anything else to put it in, I put it in a clear, bleh, I just stuttered. I put it in a clear uh, Twisby Echo medium nib. And let's get you over here. And then I think it's just going to be beautiful when I write with it. Just beautiful. I just love that. All right. And then the next one is a gorgeous, gorgeous coral. And I have the Coral Twisby. And I got this because it was only $7.50 for the bottle. And it's not waterproof, but I thought, that's okay. I'm going to bring that into my collection because it was just a beautiful color. And when I got it, I was not disappointed. And look at, it kind of looks orange, but it's not. It's this... You'll see as it starts to dry, it kind of lightens up a little bit, and it is just beautiful. I love it. Now, but I like bright colors. I like really rich, bright colors, and you can see there. Oh, my goodness. I think Cooper's going to... He's going to have to come in and take a time out. <laughs> So this is just really exciting for me. I love that. And I'll be taking a heat gun to these and we'll, um, an embossing gun, and we'll just kind of see the difference. I'm gonna have to close the door. Hang on, you guys. All right, I've got the door closed and I'm gonna just ignore Cooper because uh, it's a terrier in him. Okay, so this is a purple call, it's Noodler's. And it's called La Reine Mauve. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. This is actually, other than that um, 54th Massachusetts right here, I think the purple is really one of my favorites. And this is a medium nib. And you can see how wet that writes. Almost like the broad nib. It's really generous. Okay, that's just so beautiful. All right, so there are some of the inks so far. And let me, I've got three more. I'm Before I turn the page, I'm going to kind of set these inks with the heat gun, and I'll be back with you in a second. All right, so we're going to, so these are, these are set. We're going to turn the page. This is my swatch book. So this is where I start my washi collection. So we're just going to ignore that. And um, we're going to go to Verani Sketch Ink. And oh, this is, you know, pink. You cannot, put, you cannot put pink in front of me. And I actually can control myself. It's just really just an issue. Um, and this is a gorgeous kind of hot pink. And oh, I just love it. I just love it. All right, and that, let me show you the bottle. They have really fun bottles too with those girls. Isn't that fun? All right, so that is kind of a hot pink. And I have that in a white. And that's because of the demonstrator here. I can see what color it is and I was I already have another pink in the Red Blossom, 
And this, I was really excited when I received this, how beautiful it is. Okay, it's real interesting though how the different inks react with the with the different nibs. And again, don't have a clue why. All right, so then I have the Noodler's Polar Brown. Okay, and again, I have, hang on, let me grab it. I bought one of these. Look, let me show you my antique one. Oh, it's just beautiful. I bought it from a friend who has an Etsy shop. Isn't that beautiful? And I, it's a, it's a wherever, I can't even read that. Oh, here. It's a, a wherever, I'm not even sure if I'm in, it's a wherever, and it has a 14 karat nib made in the USA. It's in, I don't even know where I'm at in the camera. It's in beautiful shape. And, um, but it has one of these plungers, which I know how to use, but I'm afraid to load ink in it. Oh, it's just, I saw this, um, he's got an Etsy shop. If anybody's interested, let me know, I'll link at the shop. I don't know if he has pens right now, but I saw that and I'm like, oh my goodness, that is beautiful. But I bought this from Goulet Pens. I brought I bought this Monteverde and it was on sale so I could afford it. It's a Sequoia and I loaded the brown because I wanted to have brown ink and it won't write. And I, I messaged them and they're like, oh, some inks don't work in certain nibs. And I'm like, what? I'm like, uh, it's not a shimmer ink. So I'm like, mm, okay. So I'm gonna try next year to go to the um, Fountain Pen Chicago show and I'm gonna bring that with me and I'm gonna see if I can get some help with it. But anyways, okay, that was a major rabbit trail. All right, so I have Polar Brown in my yellow because I didn't want yellow ink. And oh, I gotta take a sip of my Fresca Lemonade. Oh, it's so good. Mm, look at, so refreshing. Mm. And so I thought, oh, I'll put it in my yellow Twisby. And this brown is just scrumptious. It really, really is. So that's Noodler's Polar Brown in a medium nib Twisby Echo. And let's see. And again, that writes really beautiful. And then it pools a little on the lines. You can kind of see that a little bit. I love this pen. Oh, I love the color. All right, the last ink is a D. Ar um, Atramentus, Ar Atramentus Fuchsia. And this was my first pink that I got. And I have it in the Red Blossom Twisby Echo in a fine nib. It is a beautiful, beautiful pink. And it's a little bit darker and richer than this. Oh, I'm not even in frame. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. It's a little bit darker and richer than, um, than this hot pink. And I just love it. I, I use this one a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, so this is a fine nib. Okay, and you can see that they're both fine nibs, but I feel like this one writes more narrow, if that's a thing. Okay. So there you go. Oh, isn't that pretty? All right, so let me dry these, and I'm gonna show you something. All right, what I wanna show you was, the reason that I, so let me get this all, I've got my watercolors here, and, um, the reason that I like to buy waterproof ink is for this exact reason. So I have my yellow okra from Daniel Smith. I had to make sure I had the right name. And I'm just gonna wet my brush, okay? And just dip that in there a little bit. And I've got such a mess on my desk, but I've been having a blast. 
All right, and I just wanted to show you that, so I'm not gonna show it on this because this is not waterproof, but I will show you on all the others. So if I go back the next day or even through the whole insert, and I wanna add even just an antique wash to it, this is why I buy waterproof. So even the black is waterproof. I don't wanna do the swatches because I enjoy looking at those, but isn't that fun? So you can just go back through your journal if you want and add watercolor if your ink is waterproof, okay? This one smears just a little bit, but not enough to bother me and certainly not enough where you lose your, um, uh, oh, what was I gonna say? Where you lose your writing, okay? Let's try Noodler's Black. I do believe that Noodler's or Noodler's Lexington Gray is, yep, that's waterproof. This one's smearing just a little bit, and I think it was because it was water resistant. I can't remember. But even if I left it at that, I still like that look, and I still could live with a few of my words being smeared. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What I won't do for color. Okay, so, yeah, this one, and like I said, I couldn't remember. Um what the scoop was with that, but even so, you're still not losing your, your lettering. And I'm just gonna dab this really quick so that we can move to the next page and I can show you the other ones too. So if you do this with waterproof ink and you're gonna get that crinkle that we all love and you're also gonna get that tea stained look too. So, Let's do this because we're not gonna we ain't gonna be fancy. Okay. And we'll just add some more. I love that tone on tone. I always add too much water to my brush. It's just a bad habit. Okay. So see, look, how fun is that? And let's dab that. And I think what I'll do is I'll dry it really quick. Okay, so you can see now what I'm talking about. You get that beautiful crinkle sound and that wave in the page when you're using Tamoe River paper. And you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous tea stained look after the fact. And there is the last page. Not pretty. So, um, yeah, so I have a new pen roll, which if you, if you are a regular subscriber, you saw that yesterday I put up a really fast, short video, and I'm really enjoying um, this because I can, in a very contained environment, keep my pens with me where I can choose all of the different colors, or choose, choose the pen, based on the color that I'm interested in for the day. And so I've really been having fun with it. And it's also kind of bringing things out that I haven't really played with um, for a long time and um, kind of making them more accessible where I'm not, how do I wanna say, I'm not sitting with a whole slew of supplies um, on my lap like I used to try to do. And so I'm gonna put my yellow one over there. I love that yellow one. Okay, yay. So pen roll, really reasonable, $15.99. Gonna need a little lovin' when it shows up for you because the leather was really dry. Um, but I, I was okay with that. I had fun doing that. And I think just with um, the oils on my hands too, it'll start becoming like an old friend and um, just, I've never had a pen roll, and so I wanted to try one, and when I started looking at them, I'm like, geez, how much do they want for them? And some of them ran like $100, and I'm like, nope, not going to do that anymore. Not going to do that when I'm not sure if I like using that type of product. So, all right, so, and you can see that they come up just enough where you can see what's happening, for, and, but not, they're not too high. The pens are not too high. The thing is, yeah, I was like, okay. All right, so um, 
I hope you had fun hanging out with me, playing with my fountain pens and seeing all my inks. And um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.